four. I wonder what tour I should choose. from Cold Red Rocks to the alluring destination of New Wales. Cold Red Rocks is a beautiful view, so it is a favourite place to picnic as you can gaze upon the exquisite landscape while you eat the lunch. Tourists were then offered two options, leave their boat and walk up to the magnificent viewpoint Ayat Rock, or they could stay in their boat for a scenic four-mile loop to New Wales on the opposite bank at Simmons Yacht West. Did you know that tourists often flock to the River Wye just to try and have a glimpse at the secretive dormice in a natural habitat? While you rest your eyes on the scenery, you might be lucky enough to see the peregrine falcon, which nests in cold red rocks. Fun fact, Simmons Yacht gets its peculiar name from Robert Simmons, who is the sheriff of Herefordshire in the 1700s. We'll be sailing past the very stock spot that the monster salmon was caught, measuring four feet long in the 19th century. Sadly, due to pollution, the river has no more gigantic fish lurking in the waters. I hope you have enjoyed the tour the Gilpin second grand team on the way. <laughs> <laughs> picturesque movement. The picturesque movement is a beautiful art category developed in the 18th century to describe the words of an artist and author, William Gilpin, 1724 to 1804. I hear you ask why the picturesque movement was placed here. Well, it's because of its outstanding natural beauty, towering hills, beautiful cliff, facing, cliff faces, and long stretching fields. Quote, William Gilpin also says, if you have never navigated the Y, you have seen nothing. Lots of artists came to this beautiful area to paint and sketch. A popular destination was Yat Rock. At this location, you can also get a rare glimpse of the stunning Peregrine Falcon. Tourists enjoy the beautiful walk to the winding path of Chump Hill, uh, the Tump to get to the Roman Hill Fort. Trip through time. Hello and welcome to the River White Hall. As we go down the river, you might spot a kingfisher. That is because the river is famous for kingfishers. Tell us more about the River Y. William Gilpin brought tourism to the River Wye. He was born in 1724 and died in 1804. I've heard of his book. It was very popular when it, he published it in 1768. <laughs> is there any wildlife on the Wye? The biggest salmon in the world was caught here, and you can also see peregrine falcons at Yat Rock. At Colwell Rock, people left their boats at the bottom to have lunch or to climb to the top. Can we have lunch then? We're coming up to the Saracen's Head, so yes, but let me tell you one more fact first. The old meaning for yat is gate. That is how it got its name. We're here, you can have lunch now. Yes. Yay. Bye, people. Hello, lunch. Bye. A traveller's guide to Coldwell Rocks and the New Year. Here we come up to Coldwell Rocks, which was the popular place for picnics. It was also a place where the tourists left their boats to climb up to the beautiful viewpoint at Simmons Yacht Rock. From these rocks, we soon approached the New Weir, which may be claimed the second beautiful scene on the Wye. Here we come across a paddle border. Oh, she fell off. On with the tour. Oh, that reminds me. There was once a fishing boat which was used in this part of the river, which is curious. It is called a coracle. It is constructed of wax canvas stretched over a few slight ribs and holds only a single man. And this is called a coracle. It is derived probably, as its name imports, from the ancient boat which was formed of leather. Thank you for joining us on this tour of Coldwell Rocks and the New Weir. Now let's do what they did in the 18th century and climb these rocks. <laughs> well 
Welcome to the Falcon, my boat, and the River White Hall. What other animals live here? Oh, there's sparrows, robins, blue tits, sparrow hawks, buzzers, and much more. Also, deer is probably the biggest wild animals you are likely to see on this tour. However, a dormouse is definitely the cutest and live in this area. Um, what about the trees? Oh, some species of tree never die of old age, and some trees hardly grow, and willow trees. Oh no, there's a duck! Now, why don't we end this with a picnic? Cold our rocks is the best spot, and maybe we'll see a paracord falcon again. Now, why don't we go on foot up to the Iron Age hill fort, little on Little the Dowd. And don't forget Billy Danton's fun fair. Yay! Yay! Oh, wow! <laughs>